Warning, warning, you're entering a brown shooter zone. Be aware, this game is extremely brown. Also, there will be spoilers for the game. Warning, warning, you are entering a brown shooter zone. Minus 100. Roger, Atlas Control. This is 1134. Check for green. 1134. All systems green. Arc launch protocol initiated. Cryogenic preparation commencing. Initiate nanotrite injection. Check. Cryogenic life support systems online. Subterranean launch injectors ready. 97% nominal. Before we get fully started with this review, I just want to say what a beautiful intro the game has. Don't you agree? What a beautiful score. Well directed. Awesome sedge. A really big fan of this intro. That's why I wanted to show it in its full capacity. Now we can get on with the show. And welcome to another review of mine. This one is about a game called Rage. And it got a bad rap because it was missold in the marketplace. It was sold as a game as big as Fallout 3 and it really wasn't anything to do with that. So pff, it went down the tubes. Everyone seemed to fucking hate it. But I, I, I didn't really mind. I really liked it. And it had this thing called, was it Mega Texture or some pish like that. It was like one of the only console games at the time to run at 60 FPS. But then if you ran up to something it looked like it was made out of polystyrene and paint. It was blurry. It was blur. But the AI was good and the visceralness of it was good. And I just thought it, got, it didn't get a fair shot but then they made a sequel. And it also bombed for some reason. I think it was because Avalanche made it. That's no fair Avalanche, is it? Come on now. I ain't fair on the old boys from Vlanche. I just don't think Rage was really meant to have a destiny of its own. It was a game that didn't really know what it wanted to be. Are we going to be like Fallout? Aye, sort of. Are we going to be like Doom? Aye, a wee bit. We'll, we'll have a wee bit of car combat in there as well. and. The multiplayer mode was only going to be car combat, which was probably a smart idea. But then again, it's bizarre because most of the game isn't car combat. And it was like, why is there no shooty bits on foot in the multiplayer? It's, it's a really a bizarre thing for it to have done. It's basically you, it is a Doom game where you drive to each corridor and then shoot. Not demons. You shoot bad guys with guns, and then you can build wee gadgets, like RC cars with wee bombs on them, and you can drive them towards the the bad guys, and they'll spot them a mile away and fucking blow them up. Or you could um, build these things called wing sticks, and you get shown how to use them, and you, you <sighs> fling them, and they can decapitate people, or they can just bounce right off them, and maybe slightly damage them, but then you can get the advanced wing stick. Which will basically bounce between enemies like a fucking pinball machine. That was pretty good right there. That was quite fun. And you got all sorts of kinds of fucking enemies to defeat. You'll get these bastards called the Authority. Ho ho ho. 
and they're like armoured to the nines and they are basically what the what the remnants of the government are. So it's basically Ed's version of the Enclave from Fallout, right? That the world's been destroyed and how it comes to be destroyed is like a big fucking rock for space smashes it like a big rotten totty and then people people die and you get flung into this thing called an ark because what the fuck else would it be called? It's a safe homing missile defense this fucking blah, blah blah. Yeah, I don't know, I didn't make any sense saying that, so But it's always some there's always they've always like the Ark or the the Citadel or the big castle with the fucking fiery boss battle the arse end of it that nobody likes. They've always got cliche names is what I'm getting at, right? You've got a star studied cast of John Goodman doing the voice of this cunt called Hagar. Hagar. Hooger. Who cares? About two missions into the game, you'll never see him again. The cars are cool and you unlock them by like completing races or just by playing the game and you just go, Ha, I have the best car in the game. Okay, I don't mind if I do. And the authority will get tanks and there's mutants coming cutting about and you're like, Oh, the mutants caused by the radiation for the what the space rock asteroid. No. They were caused by the authority experimenting on humans. Okay. What? S space radiation? No, no. Space radiation? No. Okay. No space radiation. Just people being crippling couldn't like um, now, I suppose. The, the, the game has this annoying habit of doing this with every major character. You'll have them about for a wee while, then they'll just go, gone. So it's like, ah, <laughs> hard to get attached to anybody. I can't even remember what the main character's name is. No, it's gone. I'm just going to call him Bobby. Bobby the Barman! Bobby the Bossack, man, like. And you've got a, a plethora of guns, like a pistol. And you've got like a, a wee zoom thing lens for it, which is just like the. It's like half a binocular. Then you get a shotgun, to no one's surprise. Only this shotgun is like a million times better than the one that came in Doom 3. But what else you get? You'll get an Akalashnikov machine gun, you'll get an Authority machine gun, you'll get rocket launchers, you'll get wind sticks, you'll get all your bombs and your grenades and your boom sticks and your boom bam boom bibbidi boom 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 bam! Know what I'm saying? You got all that explosive goodness. And the AI is good. Oh, you'll get a. You'll get a thingy, what do you call it? A Daryl Dixon crossbow that could fire all kinds of bolts. Like stabby bolts. Burny bolts. Electric burny bolts. Pretty fucking exciting. You get to upgrade your motor with things that go BOOM! <laughs> Make you go faster and you get more armor and all that big. You'll get wee side missions that are kind of shit actually if I'm being honest with you. One of the ones is to go up to the, the, this wee settlement, you know, the first settlement you'll find in the game and it's called Wellspring and you'll basically just be up in the top of the, like a fucking catwalk above the main entrance uh, shooting mutants, protecting a guy, fixing water pipes, I know. Can't get much more excitement than that. What are you doing? Oh, I'm shooting mutants. This guy's fixing the shitter. Oh, fucking brilliant, isn't it? Mate! But it's a damn sight better than Doom 3 was. Biggest thing about Doom 3, the guns were inconsistent with the damage and they still are a wee bit in this one, actually. Depending on who you're fighting against. Some of the enemies can be so fast, they'll just blindingly run right through you. And then you'll be shooting at your feet for quite a bit of the time. The locales in the game are pretty good though. You get to go to like a desert canyon, followed up by a desert toon, followed up by a machine shop in a desert canyon toon, followed by a dead city. Oof, the best bit in the game is it? There's a, an authority outpost and then you'll get to go to the other side of the wee canyon and do very similar missions in very similar places. I still love the game though, I still really like it. I've played it a number of times. There's also a DLC called The Sculptures, but we'll look at that another day, because right now, quite frankly, I can't be fucked, so I'll look at that another time. I like doing my DLCs separately, no other reason than because I don't always have the time to play through every game and every game's DLC, plus it gets me another video as well. 
and I can go a wee bit more in depth. Ooh, in depth! Might do a Demon Souls review, not so much a review as just me being really shite at Demon Souls. That kind of quite exciting, but anyway, on with the show, the rage, the rage, the rage! So this came out in the 360 PC, PS3. I would love it to get a remaster or a remake, a revamp, a re-release. They did give away codes for the Xbox 360 version with Rage 2 on the Xbox because it's playable via backwards compatibility. Rage came in three discs in the Xbox 360. Two discs for the single player, one disc for the multiplayer. I think it chocks in around about 12 or 13 gig. God, I remember when games were like, that's fucking huge, 12 gig. <laughs> Jesus, if I could go back and see past me playing these games and go, these fucking file sizes are huge, 10 gig, mate, fuck's sake. It's not like 100 gig. They're, they're, for no apparent reason, they're 10 times the size they were 10 years ago. Look, I know the games need a wee bit more breathing room, but for Christ's sake, have a heart! Lord, my fucking cholesterol here and PS5 at least let me use other hard drives other than your internal one which holds about four games if you're lucky. Or if you're playing Call of Duty, it'll hold about two games if you're lucky. Would you like to update? No, I don't want to fucking update the game. I played the shite campaign and I fucking turned it off and deleted it. Need to stop buying these fucking games! Anyway. Rage is good. Will it blow your socks off? Nah. But will you have a good time playing it? Most likely. So, go fucking play it, eh? Bye.